Hello everyone, this is Triple X Krushakos. Welcome to the second part of my gunner guide. And this is a post commentary. Uh, basically, I just wanted to concentrate on the gameplay while I was recording, and now I can concentrate on uh, commentating and explaining my mindset whenever I am playing Battlefield Heroes as a gunner. Uh, you always look for an opening like this one. Try to open up with a double keg, then, as soon as you are done with your Dragonfire blasts, Switch to the laser, okay. As you can see, I am engaging two gunners. I pop a tonic because I am kinda low on health. Okay, kegs, dragon fire, and the laser. Okay, laser is incredibly strong in the mid range. Basically, you are a healing beast. I just, you know, teabagged, uh, teabagged him because I wanted to, you know, you know, it's basically a tickle. It is a respectful way to show love to your opponents, okay. This guy is tonicking, no shame in that, but he has gotten too close to me. So I am basically, you know, just spraying him with my snowblower. Snowblower in close quarters is just incredibly strong. It's like 20 damage with each shot and uh, the rate of fire is pretty huge. This guy is kind of at a long range, so I was able to like really throw my keg from a very long distance and just spray with uh, Dragonfire. Dragonfire bounces off from the walls, so if somebody is behind the corner, just, you know, just spam the Dragonfire and uh, if you tag someone, you can uh, you can even kill him, but usually just just use it to detect your opponents. Okay, this guy is uh, kind of alone, so I just threw a pirate keg and explode. I mean de detonated it with the dragon fire. Okay, I am trying to flank these guys, and here I make a m made a mistake. I should have thrown a V keg before they noticed me, but uh, yeah, this is basically. Uh, uh, a, mist a mistake that some gunners, even uh, so pro as me, sometimes uh, make, okay? Okay, this guy didn't notice me, so I was able to slow him down with my snowblower. Sadly, uh, sadly, uh, he pushed me away with uh, his uh, noob uh, uh, RPG. Kinda, you know, kinda lame, but you know, what can you do? Okay, this shotgunner right here is trying to kill me, and unfortunately, he manages to do so, but uh, you know, it was really close. It was really close. I noticed that this guy was rocking uh, um, IAG at level 5, and there is no point uh, attacking uh, a gunner with IAG at level 5 whenever you are rocking the snowblower. Unfortunately, this weapon has one weakness, and that is uh, IAG. IAG unfortunately uh, eats up your snowblower, so I was not able to like punish him in close quarters, but as soon as, as he switches to uh, leg it, okay, as soon as he, as he switches to leg it, uh, you can just activate your snowblower, slow him down and finish him off quite easily, but, uh, you know, I was kinda, I was kinda not concentrated enough. Uh, and here I got a really nice ballistic, uh, you know, dragon fire is incredible, it's, it's really incredible. Uh, you, you have to spend a little bit money to get dragon f the dragon fire, uh, but, uh, uh, basically, at long, long range, you are dealing about uh, 30 damage with each shot. So imagine this: I, I have upgraded my dragon fire, uh, so it has one more bullet. Okay, one more missile. Uh, I don't know how how, you, how do you want to call it. And thanks to that, and thanks to that, uh, well, basically, I am able to deal about 90 damage on a single target, and that's quite quite a lot. Okay, and oh, okay, one more thing about the snowblower. Uh, you, you are basically debuffing all these speed buffs. You are cancelling every speed buffing ability in the game, okay? This was a commando, uh, he was using uh, the elixir. Elixir basically is, is, is speeding up your, your opponent, so he moves really fast. If you tag him, tag him with, uh, with the snowblower, you cancel. You cancel the elixir and you slow him down, so it's really easy to catch him and kill him. So. Uh, whenever whenever you, ha you have like troubles, uh, you know, catching up to your enemy or like, I don't know, he's moving too fast, just slow him down with your uh, snowblower and he won't be able to strafe or escape from you and you, you are just able to finish him off quite easily. And here, unfortunately, I died, but thanks to my amazing Dragonfire. Okay, Dragonfire is really good uh, uh, even to use in close quarters because uh, those, uh, those missiles, those little bullets, okay, those little Dragonfire balls, those little Dragon Balls, okay, Dragon Balls, are bouncing off all over the place, and because of that, because of that, you are quite often able to, uh, you know, uh, damage your opponents even in close range. And here, as you can see, I tonic, you know, there is absolutely no shame, there is no shame tonic in mid-fight, you know, 
basic, basically, you know, uh, tonics are in game because uh, uh, the developer wanted us to use uh, these widgets. So uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong, you know, using a tonic mid fight. It's it's perfectly normal. People do it all, all the time. I do it all the time. I think it is okay. Uh, there are some people who think that it's uh, not fair to use a tonic uh, mid fight, but uh, don't listen to them. They are basically uh, just you know just hating and uh, trying to find. Uh, you know reasons to uh, basically put you down and uh, well give you some uh, give you some crap uh, because you are better than them and you are owning them and you are killing them but you know just just remember if you are if your health is dipping too low just pop a tonic and uh, you have a much lar larger chance to win a fight okay here as you can see I am 1v1 in this gunner and oh and Okay, even though I kind of ran out of uh, ammo for my laser, as you could see, I was still able to sustain quite nicely during that fight with my laser. Laser is still incredibly strong, even though it got nerfed. Uh, you no, know, before the nerf, it was uh, just overpowered. Right now, it's still very strong. It's very strong. It, it went from very overpowered to just very strong. So it's still a viable pick, and uh, I would highly recommend this weapon to everyone. As you can as I, as you can see, you can still you can still deal a lot of damage. So I I, I still I seriously think that is, it is a great weapon. Okay, just look how, just look how easily I am mowing this guy down. And okay, uh, apparently I, I had a a, a reload glitch. It's in the game, okay, it, 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 you know, I understand it, okay, I understand it, uh, uh, the reload glitch, it has been in the game for like five years or, some, or something like that, but that is not, uh, it's because of the old engine and, I mean, basically th this glitch is in the game's original code and there is nothing, uh, they cannot do anything about it, so sometimes it happens, but that does not take away from the fact that the laser uh, is incredibly strong and if I didn't glitch I would probably uh, kill the guy and yeah so, yeah so here unfortunately I kind of I kind of gotten kind of I gotten kind of reckless but uh, you know I was able to still you know inflict some significant damage but uh, yeah I I charge a little bit head on you know just try to camp all okay oh that was a nice bank that was a nice bank you know but unfortunately somebody also used a a pirate keg apparently on me and I got blasted very far away behind the enemy lines and uh, I don't think I will be making it out of here alive and I died obviously but you know just never tr never charge uh, head-on at your enemy try to camp it out spray that dragon fire okay uh, take some hit points from your enemy before you take them head-on just camp as much as you possibly can y you know even though you are a gunner and you are expected to be uh, in close range okay i am right now in close range look that guy has a cheeser that guy has a cheeser he got completely destroyed by my snowblower so uh, as i said you know cheeser basically is uh, like a cheese a budget weapon okay it is a budget weapon uh, and it is kind of a newbie weapon so uh, if you have a little bit of cash uh, buy the snowblower because as you can see it's much better than the cheeser okay and uh, yeah <laughs> basically that's it you know you want to have the best equipment you don't want to be called the uh, nudget boop okay you don't want to be called a uh, anything like it and uh, oh here here <laughs> here I am in a little bit of a predicament <laughs> too many people on me okay because of the fact that I am rocking such overpowered weapons and I am performing so well and I have such a high score and because of the fact that I am ro also rocking that incredible outfit you know sometimes um, basically there are two sides uh, of, the, of the coin uh, with the uh, with the outfit okay and the super overpowered weapons okay nice kill from the uh, from the dragon fire if you are rocking cool weapons and you are getting high scores and also if you have an uh, if if you have a nice outfit as i mentioned in the previous part of my uh of my uh, gunner guide uh yeah you uh, you attract a lot of fans on your team people uh, follow you heal you and so on but sometimes it's like uh basically you have this huge bullseye sign on your back and people are trying to kill you as you can see right now those little tryhards were trying to do so but uh, you know they kind of failed because uh, once again I attracted uh, a commando who helped me out and uh, because of that they failed and uh, I got two assists so 
more power to me. And uh, you know, that's it. That's it. I think my this is basically my my mindset whenever I am playing this setup. And uh, I think I hope I hope I really helped you out. And uh, I hope people will catch uh, catch on. And uh, ooh, nice score, really nice score. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. I hope this uh, setup will be uh, more popular. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I hope you really enjoyed it. Take care, guys. Yo. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Basically, I think I have covered every detail on how to play Gunner in the current metagame. Listen, some of you might think that uh, this is not a serious guide, but uh, well, it is It is a serious guide. You know, I've been playing this way for a number of weeks and uh, I have to say that in the current metagame, this setup is performing inc incredibly well and uh, the outdated regular RPG, long range and short range machine gun setup is basically obsolete in the current I mean, it's not obsolete, it's still relevant, but uh, I think it is underperforming compared to what I am using right now and uh, well, uh, quite quite frankly, uh, I think this is the uh, this is Battlefield Heroes 2014, this is the new age, uh, you know, we just have to we just have to uh, embrace it and you know, stop being uh, bitter and bicker with each other because of the fact that apparently these are newbie weapons. They are not newbie weapons. Listen, they were released so we could play with them. And uh, who is to say that they are broken, stupid, and they don't have uh, the right to be in Battlefield Heroes? They were released for a reason, so we could play with them. I, ha I have simply combined three of the most efficient weapons I think there are I think exist in the game and the, and the result you can witness it for yourself I think I was kicking ass in that round quite nicely right and I'm gonna provide you I'm gonna provide you with a couple of links to uh, my previous commentaries where I was also rocking that setup and uh, I was performing really well even though I was not familiar with that setup I was still doing very well in my first ever attempts at trying to basically gauge how good that setup is and the results were incredible. I strongly advise that if you are a Battlefield Heroes newcomer, you buy these weapons and you start playing the way I, I do. And obviously if you have some spare money, get those pirate kegs, tonics and optional helicopters or tank widgets you will be performing well and you will have a lot of fun and I assure you, people will really respect you for your gameplay. Take care guys, have a nice day and welcome to Battlefield Heroes 2014.